Good morning and happy Friday. I want to talk today about prayer. See, um, for those of you that follow me on Facebook, you may know this, but I have a very, very close friend that is sick. And because of that, um, I have prayed so much. Now, I mean, I'm, I'm a prayer, but I pray through actions sometimes. Like I, I, I pray when I'm driving because I'm grateful for my car and gas. I might pray when I'm walking by just looking in and soaking in the beauty that's around me. I'm not a constant fold my hands, get on my knees and pray. But since my, my neighbor is this sick, I find myself drawn to deep, heavy, serious, painful prayer. I'm begging God to fix this. So I realized that I'm so grateful to belong to a faith community like the United Church of Christ that allows me or taught me to allow myself to have this kind of relationship with God, this strong, sturdy, powerful relationship that says I can be desperate. I can beg. I can even get angry if I want to because the God that I love in and believe in and that I, that I, that I worship is okay with that. God just wants community with me. So that community can be beautiful and full of gratitude. That, that community can be, can be just um, superficial sometimes when it feels like we're not really there. And then that, that prayer can be wholehearted from the belly of my soul prayer. I almost think God likes those the most. But then I came across this quote. I love the author Anne Lamott. If you have not read one of her books, you might want to consider it. But I, I love, I love this quote. So here are these words. My belief is that when you're telling the truth, you're close to God. If you say to God, I am exhausted and depressed beyond words, and I don't like you right now, and I recoil from most people who believe in you, that just might be the most honest thing you have ever said. And if you told me you had said to God, it is all hopeless and I don't even have a clue if you exist, but I could use a hand, it would almost bring tears to my eyes, tears of pride in you for the courage it takes to get really real. It would make me want to sit next to you at the dinner table. So prayer is our sometimes real selves trying to communicate with the real, with the truth, with the light. It is us reaching out to be heard, hoping to be found in a light and warmth in the world instead of darkness and cold. Even mushrooms respond to light. I suppose they blink their mushroomy eyes just like the rest of us. Light reveals us to ourselves, which is not always so great if you find yourself in a big disgusting mess, possibly of your own creation. But like sunflowers, we turn toward light. Light warms, and in most cases, it draws us to itself. And in this light, we can see beyond our modest receptors to what is way beyond us and deep inside. Please join me in prayer. Oh, dear Lord, thank you for helping me be a part of a faith community that feels this good. Lord, thank you for allowing me to have space, us to have a space to love, to grieve, to celebrate, and maybe even yell in your presence and yet know we are heard and still loved. God, we are always grateful to be a part of this church community that loves you the way that we do. Amen. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
the things that happen when I pray. Blessings on your entire weekend. Um, I hope to see you all soon. Bye.